quick change. The door might this or is it you? That that is just it. It's a question, Jim, yes. But this one? Um yes, Tom had that, yeah. I don't think he drank it, but it was there. Um same process as previously. If you'd like to ask a question, please wait uh, raise your hand and wait for the microphone. And I wanna kick us off, James. <coughs> Anna, um Diogo Jota obviously hasn't made the trip. Um, what's the assessment on him since he was forced off at the weekend? Have you, have you, do you, is it clear now exactly the extent of the injury and how long he'll be out for? Conor Bradley didn't make the trip. Harvey Elliott didn't make it. Uh, Federico Chiesa didn't make it. And uh, Alisson didn't make it. So it means that we have um, a few issues at the moment. Uh, he, got a, he got a knock, like we all saw, when he was uh, trying to go to goal. Uh, brought down that was not the biggest problem but I think the other player fell onto him and that was uh, uh, that hurted him that much that he couldn't continue to play and he and he couldn't come with us for now and it's difficult to judge uh, at this moment of time to see uh, how long that's going to take he fell somewhere over here so it's uh, it's it's bruised is that the way to say it so uh, we have to see how long it's going to take Chris? Uh, you mentioned those issues piling up and the fixtures keep coming and coming. Is that put a bit of importance to go and get the, another positive result tomorrow night with all these games coming that you can get your qualification done in, as soon as possible in this group state? I've, I've, I've never f I never think it's a good idea to lose a game. So uh, no matter where you are in the season, it's always better to get the best possible result. And that's also what we're trying to bring in tomorrow. Uh, we look at it game by game and we try to bring out the best possible team for tomorrow for, for, the, for the competition we face with Leipzig. We're doing really well in the Bundesliga, had the difficulty of playing two very difficult teams in the Champions League. That's the difficult thing of this format, that after two games you can have a league table that doesn't tell the whole story because you can face teams from... Pot four is also you call it pot four or group four. Group four. Group four, or you can face the difficult ones in the beginning, and that's what they had. Uh, so uh, very good team, and um, yes, the fixture list is tough. But what would you expect if you play Champions League and Premier League? <laughs> the fixture list then is tough, and that's what we like. That's what we want. So we have to deal with it, and we like to deal with that. John Murray, just here. Oni, you mentioned the the single league concept have you have you got your head around it now and what do you think the the concept of this uh, champions league it's, i i got my head around it but i i don't think you can have a fair opinion yet because we're only two games into the champions league now if you ask if you would say to me okay tell me what you think about it because i want to have an answer i would tell you okay i like it but that has only to do with us having six points out of two games <laughs> that has nothing to do with the format so we have to wait and see uh, what the end result of this format is. And you can only judge that after uh, the group stage is done. And then see if if me or you or the fans uh, liked like this new format. Do you think it will be an incentive further down the line if things continue to go well to cast a thought ahead to what your seeding might be? in the knockout stages or am I looking too far ahead now what you're doing is using quite difficult English words <laughs> so I need a translation for this now if if we keep on going like this is that what he's John can you have to explain that <laughs> in the in yeah. the table the seedings gone. will determine potentially yeah. which side of the draw you'd yeah. be in in the in the knockout stages that's true, yeah, but we don't know the other teams that are left and right, so um, we all can come up with certain teams you don't want to come up against immediately after you go through to the next round, but first you have to go through to the next round. But you don't know if they end up one, two, three, or they lose a few games uh, in the meanwhile, so that is the difficulty of this format, although when it's just uh, a draw, you also don't know who you're going to face. Uh, although... Maybe it's a bit, then you know you're going to face it, the number two or the number one. Uh, 
now now you just don't know so it's so difficult for me to say if i like this or not if i think if if we reach the next round and the draw is good for us then i definitely like it let's wait and see Lewis. hi on uh, just going back to the injuries you say connor and um federico how have you got a time scale on those? Are they ser serious? I know Federico's been out for a few weeks, but are they going to take a while to recover, or are they just minor? I think it's, that is always so difficult with injuries, especially if it's if it just happens. It's so difficult to see where they are uh, after a few days, and I think after a few days you can better say where they are. With Federico, it's it's a bit more simple, although it's more difficult, but it's a bit more simple to explain. He missed a complete preseason. I said this many times. And going to a, a league where the intensity might even be higher than uh, than than um, than the Italian league. We just faced the two Italian teams, so it's <laughs> I can say this now. Um, so that makes it difficult for him to make the step towards the intensity levels the rest of the team is at at the moment. That has not so much to do with the Italian league or the Premier League, but that has more to do with him missing a complete preseason. And then it's so difficult for every player to, when the games are constantly there, to build them up towards the levels we are at. So difficult to say, but it's a big disappointment for him uh, that he is going in and out uh, of the training sessions all the time, so feel sorry for him. And but he 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 signed a long term contract, so we will we will see uh, what he brings for us. But at the moment, unfortunately for him, he can't. Uh, he's been us one or two times, I think, in the team selection, and not more than that. Chris. A great start and the, the, the threshold that the standard you've set is so high but what is it particularly you're looking for more because you can tell that you're still looking for more and more anything particularly that you that you're looking for from the team because you're top of the league you, you're winning all these games yeah yeah you can't ask for much more when it comes to results but when it comes to what we want uh, uh, there's always room for improvement uh, I don't think we outplayed Chelsea uh, we certainly didn't I think they were more dominant than us with the ball. So in an ideal world, I would have seen us dominating the complete game like we did so many other games. We're not there yet, but the good thing about this team and about uh, the, our result was that if you face a team like Chelsea or Man United, because we had difficult moments in the United game as well, that you see a team that's fighting for every every centimeter, every meter, finding for every moment that can be decisive in the game. And that's what we showed. But uh, I'm hoping that in the future, hopefully in the near future, we play a difficult game like the Milan game or the United game that we are more dominant uh, than we were against Chelsea. But probably that says a lot about Chelsea as well. Because I said it before the game and I, can, I said it after the game and I can say it one more time. A lot of people in England uh, in the start of the season made a bit of fun about them investing so much money and all these players that were not in the in in, in the squad. But uh, in my opinion, they've done in the last one or two years really well, bringing so many talented players in and now having such a strong squad with such a good manager that they will be up there in the upcoming years. That's my opinion. And uh, let's see if I'm right. Any more last ones? No? All done? Thank you.